In the past, most navigation systems were using uh, GPS and, and INS. And the problem, of course, in space is that there's uh, very few availability of, of GPS. And so we have to resort to new techniques in order to, to, to guide satellites. And so we have decided to use cameras, uh, which have the ability to track the environment that is around them in order to derive meaningful metrics to, uh, to give knowledge on the position of the vehicle. We have to use space processors and, and space processors have to be space qualified, which means that uh, contrary to what people think, uh, space processors are very slow. And, and so we have to build algorithms uh, knowingly and build algorithms that are efficient enough to be able to be ported on, on this kind of process. The second challenge would be the lack of images and the lack of data generally uh, from, from space because there are very few missions. We have to uh, resort to synthetic images and, and so we have to make sure that these images are consistent with the, one, with the ones that will be found acquired in space. So we're using images captured by previous missions to validate the fact that the simulators are actually capturing all the effects present in the real images. Another way also to, to make sure that the, the software will run correctly in space is to test in real time using space processors. This is what we're doing, uh, for example, with the Genevis study. We are doing real time tests aboard helicopters to validate the software with real images, but on Earth.